to the left, right? Yep. I did, it, and there's the boss. Here, play. Welcome to Retired Time Productions. Welcome back. This is Mobius Pan Tilt Part 2. And what I'm going to be doing here is mounting my Mobius Pan Tilt onto my video pod for my Skywalker plane. Now there's a lot of ways to do this and so I don't expect you'll probably do it the way I'm doing it. But I'm going to mount my 360 degree servo sideways in the front of my video pod right here so I can get it near the front and also I don't want to have to cut into this plate right here. So I just trimmed a little bit of wood out down in here and I'm just going to set it in there sideways and just like that. And then to hold it I'm going to use a couple of basswood sticks that I've sprayed black here and I'm just going to screw them down. Put two screws in here and then two screws into the servo. The other one will go right there. Like that and that'll hold it and then my pan tilt will go right on top of that. Inserting the last screw for the two supports. Now I'm going to put in the servo screws with a washer. Now in case you're wondering, I have pre-drilled these holes. Use my little hand drill here to do it. Otherwise the basswood would probably split. Okay, servo is installed. Now, because the, uh, the Mobius camera here actually is uh, shifted to the left, and this will be shifted to the right, it ends up back in the center that way. So the Mobius camera will be in the center of the pod, even though the servo's offset. Now I'm just going to use my servo tester to make sure the servo is centered. And I can just push this button to put it in the neutral position. Like that. It should be in the center now. And then I want to mount the base for the pan tilt on there. Facing forward. Now I'll just put in the screw for the servo. tight but not too tight. Now I made this part where I put the servo on and, and put the control rod, made, bend, made the bends for this control rod. Uh, I've already done that. It's in my other video, part one. So now we're going to go ahead and mount the tray on for the Mobius. And that goes right in here. And then I put a bolt through to hold it with a washer. Now you can see my uh, previous video, part one, for more detail on this bolt, but I'll just show it to you again. There it is. It's an M4 uh, 30mm bolt with a locking nut. I have a little piece of heat shrink on here to act as a sleeve to reduce friction and to take up some of the space in the hole. Okay, so I have a washer on the outside here, and then I got another washer in here for a spacer and then another washer on this side and the locking nut. And now I'm just going to go ahead and tighten it down. Okay, that looks pretty good. The nut is in place but not really tight, um, you know, against the wood or the washer. It's locked down, but it's also got a little play there. Don't want any friction. So here's what it looks like mounted on the uh, mount right there. I don't have the tilt hooked up right now. You can see the wire dangling. But 
just checking the pan. So that'll go around 360 like that. Okay, I'll show you what the tilt looks like. There's the tilt. And you can see it'll look down. Since it's in the front of the pod, it'll look down over the nose of the plane pretty well. I wanted to get that servo in the front, and so that's what I did. I guess I could have them both hooked up at once. Let's see what happens. Yeah, I have them both, both hooked up here. So you can see it moves pretty freely. So the next thing will be deciding where to put the board camera. Either I could put it over here or in here. There's a slot on either side where it can be glued in. Or maybe I'll figure a way to put it up on the top. Not really sure yet. So after some thinking I decide to put the uh, camera mount for this board camera onto the left side of the Mobius tray. And I've just got it gluing here with some Elmer's Carpenter's Wood Glue. So I've got the camera mounted on the camera board here and the wiring is done. The two wires for the uh, camera and the tilt right here. And the pan wire is underneath of course. The tilt servo is like right here, comes down, goes through there. And then we have the camera wire which comes out over here. Basically the wires for the tilt and the camera right here cross over each other through a tie wrap which I just have fastened onto this wire here for the servo, the servo rod. I don't know if you can see that but that's all it is. And then they run down, both of them run down underneath this uh, servo horn which I just screwed on here just to kind of keep the wires nice and neat so they don't pop up in the way of the camera. You can see when it tilts like this that the servo arm right here does not touch the wiring. You can see it stays away from it right there. I hope you can see it. So there doesn't seem to be any issue with it touching the wires. And here's what the bottom looks like. There is the 360 degree servo just sticking down through the base of the video pod and right here is the 360 degree servos lead coming along like that and I've got it held with a tie wrap right here and then of course we also have the tilt servo lead right here that goes to the top and I've got it hooked to my Tyrannus and so this knob here is the pan and that's fully one direction and this is fully the other direction so just about 360 and that's center and now here's tilt got it on this right hand pot right here on the Tyrannus so that's the full range on the tilt thank you for watching I'll leave any comments you have under the video and don't forget to subscribe Here,